Okay, so again, same situation. Here is where we left, uh, and the decision it was on Giacomo if he just wants to end uh, once again on the uh, Savage, but this time he has the option to go for the PST instead. He can bring back the Red Eyes, yeah. which he saw. I think this is the best start you can ask for after being Ash Blossom on the Chaos Oh, yes, yeah. sure. <laughs> for sure. So we can see again uh, uh, the Fury working out and uh, a combo player who is actually able to just uh, play his deck the best that he can. Yeah. So it, uh, it's still working out. If you play a combo deck, make sure that you know it really well. And uh, you have then a chance to compete. So. Very looking good here from Giacomo and uh, Rafael. Next turn. If he has the drop of the Lightning Storm, uh, he might have a chance. Yeah, so... Not much of a surprise, again, it would be slightly better than what we have seen previously. And uh, Rafael still, with a lot of tools, we have seen the Lightning Storm in game 1, which he is uh, the only player maining it this weekend. But he also has a lot of copies of Forbidden Quick Spells. So, we'll see if he can pick up any of them. And the Mascherena is even there to uh, be annoying. But we will not see the Savage. And here we see... Fractal, maybe. Yeah. So, Rafael uh, does not start things off with the Desires this time. We still have a uh, pretty big doubt that the Desire was uh, very negative to him. Because uh, he was playing uh, kind of weirdly in game one. And now... Looks like Rafael uh, maybe will try to normal summon or special summon yeah. one of his pieces first. It's similar, but at least there are three lines of interruption this time, which are the Mascherena, the uh, Seal and the Tiding face down. So it's not as easy for Rafael to break this board. He really needs one of his spells uh, right here and right now. So Also needs to play with the clock. Because uh, for sure, the minutes remaining, so needs to consider it as well. Yeah, we already mentioned the excitement of seeing a sudden ma uh, death game, and maybe we will see it uh, here. Because if Giacomo is able to just capitalize on this game, then uh, that could be the case. Okay, so the seal resolves. So, uh, solid start here from Giacomo, who will uh, bring out uh, Dragon from his deck. Do you think it could be the Brotor this time? Since he already yeah. has Tiding? I yeah. think he can go for the Brotor this time. He has the Tiding. Uh, his line of defense is set up. So... Rafa will need to special summon a monster and then... He also has the Masquerina, so it's not easy for him. Yeah, the problem is that I think he is holding no cards at all, so the Brotor could just be useful in Grave, but doesn't have the option to activate his effect. Instead, the Rooter is quite nice with the Masquerina, because it gives him uh, just an add for next turn. So, Rafael now thinking quite hard on what Masquerina could uh, bring out. There are a few options, uh, so we'll see. Because, of course, the Unicorn, which is the uh, most popular one, is also quite useless at the moment. Yeah, not having any card, but uh, the main issue here for Rafael is the Tiding. Okay, so nice, uh, nicely done here from uh, Rafael. He special summoned the Keras, and here again, uh, uh, Giacomo will probably use the Tiding uh, uh, right here and right now. I, I think, think it makes uh, sense. Yeah, and this is what we see. So Tiding... Uh, and now it's again on Rafael whether he has another response or that's all. Uh, we know that uh, Zodiac Barrage, we were saying how much... Uh, <laughs> oh, and I called it. So, a nice read and call by me this time uh, on saying how much Zodiac Barrage, which we will only see for this weekend and that's it, uh, is one of the few cards that allow you to combo off uh, afterwards. But at least now he has a card back in his hand. So the Unicorn is an option. But uh, definitely a, a lucky draw here from Rafael. I think this was the, the very only card that could have caused Giacomo a lot of trouble. 
because uh, and now he has to think about it because if he goes uh, for a zoom monster yeah the board boy can enter battle phase now Giacomo needs to consider uh, the nightmare unicorn I think he, he could yeah. go for it now right I'm sure he doesn't have much of an option uh, Mascherano will resolve uh, let's see if Raffle has one of his forbidden spells he doesn't and uh, uh, this means that the router allows him to get back a card from next turn and uh, uh, definitely, definitely good. Uh, I'm liking this game way more than the past one. Uh, both playing really fast and really well, I gotta say. And now, uh, Rafael setting up one. Could it be actually the Art Drone Revolt? That would be amazing for him. So Now back to Giacomo, who I think is speeding things up, especially yeah. because you don't want to go... Like no, for uh, sure, like uh, it's a, it's a weird spot, I gotta say. Because on the one hand, uh, I think it's Rafael who is uh, more worried, and that's yeah. what exactly what happens here. Uh, he picks up his card, the scoops he things up because he is the one who doesn't want to risk losing in time. He will probably speed side deck and try to win as fast as possible, especially because if he is going first, uh, he's siding three copies of Solemn Judgment, uh, which is something you really don't want to be using when it's uh, time out. So it's 1-1, one, one, and now Giacomo has the option to actually kick out uh, the most favorite uh, player to win it all, uh, Rafael Nevin. So uh, definitely great stuff here from these guys. and. Uh, Let's take a look at what Rafael is going to bring in. But I think now everything is up to Rafael because uh, would you considering if you were Rafael to go second with this deck list? Because it all makes sense, actually. I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely an option, uh, but I think it would have been better if he didn't scoop things up. Maybe it wasn't the revolt. Yeah. It was just a bluff, and then that's why he scooped it up. Uh, but he didn't really need to. Um, I don't know, use that time. Uh, the fact that he picked this card up uh, makes me think that maybe he just goes first inside in the Solemns. But as you mentioned, I like his side deck for going first a uh, lot less than the one I liked for going second. Uh, while Giacomo, uh, it's the other way around. Uh, his side deck for going first, as he is a combo deck, is much weaker. But he has a ton of end shops going second. So he has the Lancia, he has the Gammas, uh, and he might side in the Twisters as well. So, I think it's gonna be an interesting game three, and uh, no matter what, uh, I think the opponents coming up are watching this closely to find out who their opponents will be tomorrow, so... No, I'm very curious to see, because like Giacomo, I think, showed us how great he knows his, his deck and uh, to combo off after being Ash Blossom, so... Uh, the Solemn Judgment being played by Rafael could have been out a lot, but uh, the time uh, has to be considered if he just wants to go first and side in the main. I mean, it's a risk, but uh, let's see who goes first. Yeah, see, so this is all or nothing. Uh, again, I'm thinking Rafael really wants to go first, and that's the case. Makes a lot of sense, uh, and he does so with the wrap here, so... Um... He's gonna be able to use it to his advantage, uh, maybe going for the longbow and uh, comboing off on uh, turn one. But now, again, as we already mentioned, there are a lot of end-shops in Giacomo's deck. Alongside the droplet and the talent, which we have seen previously. So, it's looking uh, like it could be an even game here, so... Let's see, Rafael uh, speeding through really quickly. And yeah, just... Uh, uh, goes uh, for an either further uh, Zodiac Monster just to get to the number 4, which is the magic number to get the Omen down. No? Uh -oh. and yeah, he goes yeah. Uh, for a usual combo. Oh. But the Lancia comes down, wow! Whew. Artifact Lancia really putting in some work here. This hurts a lot. We have been talking about Lancia a lot, uh, especially in the meta discussion. We have said how many players don't like this card, but on the other hand, now yeah, it hurts. It hurts especially because uh, he has the longbow, but he doesn't have the bear bow. So if he goes here for a link summon, uh, sure he can get a few cards back. Okay, so this is not too bad. Uh, it depends if his last card is another uh, beast warrior. Because now, okay. Yeah, because if he can get the Keras down, uh, 
Uh, this is still doable uh, because uh, it requires another. So if he goes for a link summon here, he does. Okay, okay. so okay. this is good. Yeah. Uh, well played here by Rafael, uh, recognizing his position. Here he could go for uh, a bear bow if he feels like, and then uh, an Apollusa, and still get both uh, and a card from the nerve. So uh, pretty good opening, uh, and we'll see if this artifact lands here. Yeah. Ooh, but uh, wow, Fantasma the... comes down, and you see Rafael. Uh, not happy about it. Uh, he's uh, getting nervous, uh, especially because uh, there are five minutes remaining, uh, and when you are in time, you want to be the first attacker. So, Rafael uh, definitely must pay a lot of attention here. He had the solution to the Lancia, yeah. uh, which was not uh, super easy to do, but uh, the, the Phantasm actually gives access to Giacomo to his deck. So. Yeah, especially because now, if you go for only a two. Uh, Master Apollosa is 1600, so they can force it out by attacking it, uh, and then you're already forced to use the revolt. So the situation is uh, looking like it could go either way, and uh, since there are two links, he even draw three cards, so uh, it completely changes the rest of your end. And uh, let's see. You can tell that Rafael is not happy with this, but uh, time is approaching soon, and uh... I yeah. don't think he summoned. He will use both uh, chain links. He decides to draw first and then uh, go and uh, look for uh, the revolt. I don't think he summoned the Abulusa. We, we cannot quite tell, but. Uh... I mean, it's, there is a lot of yeah. player obviously on the actual deck, but we'll see. There were a few options on the actual deck here. I think it is the one that still makes the most sense, yeah. honestly. But uh, we'll see. He's asking how many summons, maybe? Oh no, yeah. Uh, I shuffled back one for the effect. Yeah, maybe he didn't shuffle back one for the longbow, I guess. Uh, and uh, Rafael here really looking uh, slightly confused, I would say. I don't know. Uh, game 2 was a show of both players really understanding their positions, but now Rafael uh, is getting me worried and the cow space is a great way to start things off. Uh, I think we might see Rafael uh, actually give up uh, on time. Three minutes are not much, especially for a combo deck, and all that Giacomo needs to do is just push some damage this turn. Yeah. And his end looks like very good. Yeah, uh, it's an amazing start yeah. here from Giacomo. And now he can also the Wyvern Buster, and uh, this hurts. Yeah, even if Rafael has the Revolt, uh, it might not be enough. Mm -hmm. So he gets the sector launch. And now I think he wants to force Rafael to activate the revolt. Uh, okay, his end is full of spell actually. I think he has the quick launch as well and the ravine. He has a lot of options. Okay, here comes the quick launch. So one more piece added to the board. Wow, what an end. <laughs> What an end from Giacomo. Lancia, Fantasmai, and also every single combo piece you can get from the deck. Such an incredible opening. Because now, really, you have so many options that uh, with two minutes remaining, uh, you actually consider to... Okay, I think he entered battle phase. Okay, already entering battle phase. And... Uh, yeah, it was the Apollosa. Yeah, it was the Apollosa, so... Uh, we will see the revolt here, but uh, this is tough. As mentioned, uh, there are only one minute and a uh, few seconds remaining. Uh, to be fair, uh, Giacomo played really fast, yeah. so I gotta give uh, credit to him. Uh, uh, you can see, you know, a player is taking their time, it is on their own right, and especially when you know you can win with this 200 damage uh, only, uh, it's definitely fair for you to take your time, but. Now we will see, ooh, even the droplet. Oh, wow. uh, what a turnaround here from uh, uh, from Giacomo. I think, uh, unfortunately, there is not much that Rafael can do. With one minute uh, remaining, uh, I think uh, we will just see Giacomo take uh, the best out of this situation. He can push some more damage yeah. as uh, droplet uh, out the attack, and in Memphis which he can combo off. So. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, uh, Rafael's legacy, at least uh, for now, we'll have to stop here in round one.
But I gotta say, uh, it's only fair that this is the case. I and think uh, cool. yeah, yeah. He picked up his cards, so after a very long second match for the day, it is Giacomo who wins and will advance to the top eight tomorrow. Congratulations to both players, and let's go back to us for the post-match discussion.